Thank you very much for talking to us. What is your name, sir? My name is Lewis Kennedy. And I understand that you haven't played today. Are you injured? Yeah, unfortunately, last uh, last, last game against Wakefield, I took a shoulder to the chest and it uh, g gave me a grade two tear. So, uh, on physio advice, I was said if I play again and take another knock, it could lead to a rupture. So that'll be uh, missing out on, on Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You definitely don't want to miss out on Australia. No, no, definitely not. So how is it being treated? So I've been given some homework to do with, with the physio. Um, and then on Tuesday with our training session, I'm going to sit down with her to get some more stretches doing. And uh, lots of ice, really. <laughs> lots of ice every few, every few hours. So hopefully uh, within a few weeks, I'll be back, back playing as normal. How long do these things normally take to heal? Have you been told? Well, I was looking online. It says uh, two to four weeks, depending on uh, the grading of it. So more, severe, more severity, um, it will take a lot longer. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. So I'm hoping I can get out there on the field for the next uh, Casper game. So in terms of, obviously, being an injured player, how difficult is that, watching your teammates? That was terrible for me. <laughs> I'm a player that really likes to get uh, stuck in the dirt and really work for the boys. So being on the sideline, just being able to use my voice is uh, hard enough. So um, I was really, really getting behind them in, in spirit for there. And um, there's some tackles that was being missed there. I was like, ah, oh, I should have been there, should have been there. And um, I just can't wait to get back on the field. Um, I've only had one game for him, but it's, it's everything behind the scenes that you do as well. It, it's so exciting being part of a group of lads that are on the same playing field as you as well. And we're all in it together. And so when you got one player injured, you just your heart's out there for them because you really want them to be doing well as well. So did you play rugby before this, or is this like your first taste? Yeah, I came from a union background, actually. I was played, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, I've always had league in my heart, grew up with league, um, but I had Warrington Rugby Union uh, squad nearby, so I joined them, and that was all able bodies. And often what the opposition teams would do would see, see that I had a disability and throw a forward down my throat. So it was a case of I had to learn to hit hard, tackle hard, and just run at everyone hard. So um, people were surprised when I came, came through to PDRL uh, the ability that I did have. Um, and as a result of that, it's really, really shown through on the games that where I have played. So um, I, as growing up as playing with able body players, I've always had to match them in some sort of way. So even with aggression, um, if I can make, it, make up for that with a lack of hands, then so be it. So uh, it's always about working. For me, it was always about getting the leg work done. So uh, running hard, making a big impact and, and contact and just showing them that I'm not a pushover. Have you had a look at the Aussie teams and, and looked at how much they're going to have that same impact? Because obviously, we, as, a, as an England Super League side, yeah. you know, Australia are, are really quite far ahead of us, aren't they? Have you had a look at them and see what you thought of their game? Well, I've only actually taken a look at the um, Australian able body teams. Uh, um, for me as a player, I don't tend to look at what, I've, what I could possibly face against. I just like to have something there in front of me and attack it straight away. I don't want to look at what they do. I just want to play my game, concentrate on what I can do on the pitch. That's very good insight. Thank you very much for talking to us, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.